Hello everybody and welcome back to lesson 2 that is source of research problem. Previously in lesson 1 we have discussed about introduction to research. Under introduction to research we define what is research, what is not research and we also discussed about when to conduct research and the relationship between research and neology pyramid. Today we are going to discuss about source of research problem and some consideration while we select uh, the problem. The outlines for this session is research problem selection consideration and source of research problems. These are the considerations of research problem while we are selecting the problems. While we are selecting the problems we have to check up whether these uh, things exist or not. The first one is the interest area. Because research needs our hard working, persistency, and motivation, we have to make sure that the research problem, the selected research problem, is aligned with our interest area. Otherwise, we may, we may lost motivation, we may lose motivation, we may be encounter with tiredness and it's not advisable to do on areas that's not interested for us. So we have to keep in mind that our interest and the problem area, the research problem area should be aligned, should be aligned. And the second is resource availability. The availability of the resource is also essential because while we are conducting, while we are carrying out the research, it needs resources. For example, it needs money to collect the data. It needs our time, even our effort. It needs accommodation, transport, maybe to collect the data from the source, to collect primary data from the sources. So we have to keep in mind that all the resources are available, all the required resources for the research problem is available. And the next is relative importance of the research problem. This is the basic reason that we are going to study. Because of this importance, without importance or if its importance is less, no need to conduct research. So we have to be sure that its relative importance overweighs the cost, its significance in terms of maybe practical significance. It may fill some neology gaps or it may solve some specific problems. So we have to make sure that the relative importance either practical importance or theoretical implications. The other consideration is researcher's knowledge. Just like the interest area, we have to know our neology and the problem that we have to select must be aligned with our knowledge, within the scope of our knowledge. In a research, we have to go into depths, in depths. We have to be specific, but we have to go in depth. So, to go into in depth area or to explore something new which can add value to the existing knowledge or to solve the problems, so we have to have at least the basic knowledge. The basic knowledge. So, we have to make sure that our a research problem is within the scope of our knowledge. The other thing is manageability. Manageability, we mean that the research problem should not be broad and should not be narrow. Rather, it should be optimum so as to answer with the available resources. Maybe with the available with our expertise level, with our resources. 
So it should be optimum enough to be answered with the available resources. And the other important uh, consideration is urgency. The research problem should have a priority, should have a priority for the stakeholder or for the society. And its solution is required in immediate time so as to solve the problems. So we have to make sure that the problem is the number one issue that the stakeholders or uh, the society want to be solved. Moving to source of research problems, we can get uh, research problems from causal observation. For example, here we can observe COVID and we can make what is the cause of uh, COVID-19 or what is the effect of COVID-19 on economy or maybe on working environment or health sectors and so on. So we can, uh, we can get problems, research problems from uh, causal observation, causal observation between uh, some variables. And the other is deduction from theory. There are a lot of already developed theories. So we can deduct or we can test those theories with current situation. We can extend the applications of those theories or we can test, we can verify with the empirical data. So we can test theories. And the other is current social and political issues can be a source of a problem. That means current social crisis or political issues, maybe uprising or health issues, can be the problem as well as source of a research problem. And the other is practical situation. For example, the working conditions of the organizations or the organizational culture, the existing organizational culture, the performance, and so on, can be the source. Can be the source. Personal experience and insight, ex expertise or professional experience, and observation can also be a source of the problem. As a, a professional or, or as a researcher, and being a part of the community, being a member of the community, the researcher can observe or can have some insight about what is happening in the environment. So that may be a research problem. And the funding agencies. Sometimes the funding agency may give us the problem to be investigated or may give the, the area of research to be investigated along with their funds. And the other is management dilemma, particularly in the case of organizations, the management are expected to make a decision for the problems. So to make a decision, a management sometimes may encounter dilemma. So during that time, we have to conduct a research to make that, to make clear that dilemma and to arrive on optimum decisions because research can be an input or research is an input for a decision making. And the other is a related literature. By the way, the related literature can be, sometimes can have a conflict one with the other, that shows us there is no maturation on the particular concept. So still, there is, there is a gap of neology. So to fill that gap, we have to carry out the research. And sometimes we may get a neology gap, even in the related literatures. We may get the un unfinished tasks we may get uncovered groups. So with that particular group, 
we can carry out the research. We can cover that uncovered group or uncovered society, or we can get even from the methodology, we can get a weakness from the existing literature, from their methodology, from their scope, or from their data analysis, and so on. So we can just pick that and go to, uh, go to conduct our research. In general, we have to get a research problem. If there is no problem, if there is no problem, there is no research. So to have a research, there should be a problem. There should be a problem. This is all about today's lesson, and we will continue next lesson with research process. Thank you. Have a good time.